So now let's talk about the MVC part of the MVC framework. So what is MVC? Now I've struggled with, with how to teach this to you because honestly it took me a long time to learn it. And the reason I think it took me a long time to learn it is because I found all these complicated diagrams and pictures, which is what I tried to draw in the beginning. And honestly, I thought, you know, I'm just going to turn on my webcam and try to explain it to you in, in basic, very easy terms uh, so that you understand what's going on. So you remember when I told you about my struggles as an intern and my own personal projects, how I had just long files of code that was very hard to uh, go back and update. Well, MVC is basically an ideology of how to organize code. It is simply a way of organizing code such that others can easily step into it and understand what you are doing. So it's a predetermined way uh, for us to organize code, even if we personally uh, may not adapt it completely or like it. Uh, it does make working with a team very easily because we understand um, as a team where we're going to place certain parts of code and where to go to look for code when we need to work on something or find a bug and squash it. So MVC is an acronym for Model View Controller. Now, the think of it like this. Um, I'm not going to get into you know what serves what and how that all happens. Maybe a little bit, but uh, it, that's not nearly as important. It's just think of it a way to organize code. Um, you have separation of concerns. So you the V in the MVC is like the view. It's for view, and your view is all of your markup. It's what's going to be displayed to the front end user. And you can give that to someone with very basic knowledge or a designer uh, and they can work on the front end of what the user experience is going to be like without touching any of the logic or accidentally breaking anything. It's just all that's on that page is markup. That's a view. Um, so if you imagine our long file again, if we extracted all that HTML and CSS out of that and put it into our a separate file and kept it there, and kept it safe from um, uh, certain developers who made, they don't want to mess with any of the code or anything like that. They can just simply work on this. And then other uh, types of developers can work on other parts of the application. Uh, that's called separation of concerns. And so that's the view, it's the markup part of it. Now, the model uh, in the M in the MVC is the model. So that is your anything to do with data. So you have your database. Think of your uh, MySQL database or whatever database you're using for your application. Um, your model is in charge of handling that data. How does it connect to the database? How does it interact with that data on the database? How does it update, create, delete, um, insert? All of these things, like how does it manage data? That is your model. So anything to do with managing data, any methods or functions or anything that uh, messes with the data at all needs to live in the model. The controller or this the C in the MVC is what ba is what handles the logic. It basically is the communicator between the model and the view. Um, so. In our framework, what's going to happen is we're going to grab uh, information from the URL, and the first parameter in that is going to be what controller are we using. So we're going to be able to take our controller, do any sort of logic. So first, it's going to grab any data we might need to display to the user. Let's grab all the data, do all the logic, and then it's going to uh, put that into the view, and then the view will be served up to the to the client side. Um, after all the logic happens. So that's the controller. And so now all of our code is split up basically in three places. We have our data in, in the models. We have our front end or markup in the views. And we have our logic in the controllers. And if you just keep those simple principles in mind when you're, when you're organizing code, it's going to make your life a ton easier and we don't need to get into complicated diagrams or anything like that. So I hope that's helpful and um, you know, let's just dive in and start this thing.